Hello. In this video we will show an IoT solution for monitoring home heating and hot water system using Mainflux IoT platform. The heating system consists of the Bosch Solid 2000B pellet system. A central heating buffer. A hot water tank which is connected to solar hot water panels on the roof. The water circulates uh, through the system by pumps, the central heating pump and the hot water pump. Our heating IoT solution is built on several hardware and uh, software components. We have the Tech ST717 controller, which is standard Bosch equipment for pellet burners. And we have the ST505 Ethernet module, which takes all the data and pumps the data into the Internet. The software components are separated in two parts. A Windows server is acquiring data from our ST505 module and publishes the data to the second component, the main Flux IoT platform. The Windows server is running on our home Windows server, while the main Flux IoT platform is running in the cloud on a CentOS guest system under Hyper-V host. The Tech ST505 Ethernet module normally sends data every few seconds to a website which is run by the manufacturer of the controller. That was a problem for us because we wanted to have a solution which would be more flexible and give us the possibility to perform data analysis in a more complex way. So we created the following solution. The Windows server and the home server pulse for values from the ST505 Ethernet module on a regular basis via HTTP. The data is decoded and then published to the Mainflux IoT platform via MQTT, where the Mainflux normalizer does its job and puts the data into the Mainflux Influx database. Data we get from the system are the following. We get the temperatures, the actual temperature and the set temperature of the central heating. Also the temperatures of the hot water tank, the set values and the red out values. We get the state of the pellet burner itself, the ventilator and the state of the feeder. And we have the state of the central heating pump, which is turned off now, and the state of the hot water pump. With main flux, we now have the data, so we were able to create visualizations in real time. Thanks to our friend AJ, we created uh, the HoloLens visualization. The guys from Strictit created a dashboard application where real-time monitoring is made easy. Mainflux Influx database provided us the showing of historical data by using Grafana in the dashboard application. The dashboards and widgets were clicked together in the Grafana dashboard editor. Now we have a lot of useful information about our heating and hot water system. Then we create the data evaluations. We see here two graphics, one for the hot water branch and one for the central heating branch. We sh uh, see here the um, uh, readout temperatures, the set temperatures and various other uh, parameters like the on-off state of the boiler and the on-off state of the feeders. Also, we see here the on-off state of the pumps. Then we created another evaluation where we show the comparison data of the temperatures in the two branches. Here we see the spikes which show us uh, the on-off state of the, of the boiler. 
Uh, we see also uh, other situations where the hot water uh, is heated by the solar cells on the roof. That's here such a situation. But we also see a very interesting fact that as the temperature in the hot water tank is raising, we see also a little spike here in the central heating uh, branch, which shouldn't happen. Uh, last year we had a suspicion that uh, there is a problem with one check valve and that the heat from the solar cells is also transported into the central heating uh, central heating branch. Here we see the similar situation. Uh, last year we couldn't uh, prove that, but this year we have all the data uh, from the main flux system we, which shows us these situations. Here we see another spike and here we see another spike. We have to call our maintenance service to um, remove the check valve and put a new one in to be sure that this won't happen again. Another value for the data, from the data is uh, we see the uptimes of the boiler. Uh, here we see, for example, that in the last seven days we have uh, almost 12 hours of uptime of the boiler. And we have here in comparison the times of the uptimes of the feeders. It's calculated or it's summed up. Uh, this will help us uh, in defining and the calculation of the fuel consumption uh, for the next winter.